Hello everyone, it's Fabio here, your English teacher, and I'm thrilled to be with you today. In today's video, I'll be providing the answer to our multiple choices free quiz. So let's get started. Our quiz question was, it was an extremely hostile article which cast on the conduct of the entire coalition. Here are the answer options. A. Criticism. B. Aspersions. C. Disapproval. And D. Abuse. Take a moment to think about it and let's see if you can choose the correct answer. The correct answer is cast aspersions. Now let's dive into this phrase and understand what it means. To cast aspersions means to make a damaging, false statements about someone's character, integrity or reputation, with the intention of undermining or damaging their credibility. It's a way of expressing doubt or scepticism about someone or something. In the context of our quiz question, when we say it was an extremely hostile article which cast aspersions on the conduct of the entire coalition, we mean that the article contained damaging or unfounded accusations that questioned the credibility or integrity of the coalition's actions or members. Now, let's discuss why the other answer options are not the correct choice in this context. Option A, criticism, is not the best choice because criticism can be constructive and valid. Casting aspersions implies a more malicious intent to harm someone's reputation. Option C, disapproval, indicates a simple expression of disagreement or dissatisfaction without necessarily implying false accusations. It doesn't capture the negative and damaging aspect of casting aspersions. Option D, abuse, is way too extreme for this context. It suggests physical or verbal harm, which may not be the case in this sentence. Casting aspersions is more about spreading doubt or mistrust. So, to recap, cast aspersions is the correct answer because it means making damaging or false statements to question someone's integrity or credibility, as is seen in the quiz sentence. Thank you all for participating in this quiz, and I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase cast aspersions a little bit better. If you have any more questions or you want to share your sentences by using the phrase cast aspersions, feel free to do so in the comment sections below. That's a wrap for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative content. Keep learning and remember that words have the power to shape our understanding of the world, so use them wisely. Until next time, take care and keep improving your English skills. Bye.